else here. And today we'll be talking about unearned revenue adjusting entries and their impact on the accounting equation. Before I start, it's important to understand what unearned revenues are. Unearned revenues are very similar to prepaid expenses. Remember that prepaid expenses are not expenses on the income statement, even though they have the word expense in them. Instead, prepaid expenses are assets. Why? Because they'll benefit the company in the future. As they're used or consumed, these prepaid expenses will become expenses on the income statement, but only over time. Unearned revenue is similar. Students often recognize unearned revenue as revenue on the income statement, but they're not revenues. What are they then? Unearned revenues are a liability. Why is that? Well, say a customer pays a down payment on a car. The car's not going to be delivered for two weeks, but the customer has already given your company cash. Your cash goes up because your assets go up, but you've given nothing back to the customer, except a promise to give them a car in the future. How do we record a future promise? That's a liability. It's a liability because you owe the customer something in the future, an obligation that will be settled when you deliver the car. Will the liability ever become a revenue? Absolutely. When you deliver the car to your customer in two weeks, you can recognize a revenue on the income statement because you've earned it. Are there other liabilities on the balance sheet that are like unearned revenue? That start off as liabilities and later become revenues when they're earned? Actually, Unearned revenue might also be called things like customer deposits, fees paid in advance, advanced subscription, or any number of other names. The accounts may have different names, but they all mean the same thing. A customer has provided cash to the company, but didn't receive anything in return. The company owes them a good or service in the future. Remember, don't be fooled. Unearned revenue is cash we've received from a customer in advance of doing anything for that customer. We earn it later when we deliver the goods or provide the service. Unearned revenues are liabilities on the balance sheet, most often under current liabilities. Let's do an example so you really understand the entries that impact the accounting equation when we're doing an unearned revenue entry. ABC Company agrees to provide car cleaning services to a customer for $150 per month. The customer pays for five months in advance. 5 times 150 means they give ABC Company $750 cash on January 1st. ABC has to report to the public quarterly. That means they produce financial statements on March 31st. Let's look at January 1st and see what entry ABC Company needs to make. Whenever we look at a transaction, we have to ask ourselves, what did we give up? What did we get, if anything? So, what did we get? We received cash of $750. That means that assets, our cash account, increased by 750. Did we earn anything? When we receive cash, students often assume that we have our revenue on the other side. The question is, did we earn anything? Cash doesn't indicate what we earned. We have to ask, what did we do for the customer? In this case, the answer is nothing. We didn't do anything. And because we didn't, we can't record a revenue. What did we give away? Well, we gave away an IOU. And that's an obligation, a liability in the future. And because of that, we have to record a liability, unearned revenue, under the element liabilities. Remember, this is because the company has an obligation to the customer in the future to provide a service. What kind of transaction is this? It's an external transaction because it's measurable and realized. Realized means that it happened in the past. It's external because we exchange something with an outside party, someone who is external to the company. Remember that external transactions are called transactional entries, indicating the transaction occurred with a third party, and there's likely a paper trail, such as an invoice or receipt. Now let's fast forward three months. We now stand in March 31st. We know that the company is going to produce financial statements, so we have to be sure that all the liabilities on our balance sheet are still owed to third parties at March 31st. Liabilities have to be equal to the amount due in the future. If not, we'll have to make an entry to recognize that some of the liabilities have been settled. If we look at our unearned revenue account, the last time we did anything with that account was on January 1st. So, on March 31st, we still have our January 1st balance, which is $750. We know that this account is a liability because we owe the customer $750 of services in the future. Do we still now, at March 31st, owe $750 of services to a customer? And the answer is no, not anymore. 
We provided cleaning services for the last three months, so we have to recognize that some of the liability is now gone, settled. We also have to recognize that we earned revenue, so we have to move the value to the revenue account. We said we provided three months of services to our customer, and we know that we charge $150 per month, so that means we've earned $450 over the last three months. We have to reduce the liability account by that amount because the value is no longer owed. This means that our ending balance in the unearned revenue account has to be updated to be $300, which is our original $750 less the $450 liability that was settled because we provided the services to the customer. We still have two months of obligation remaining for the future. That's why $300 of liability is left in the unearned revenue account at March 31st. In order to reflect the fact that we've provided three months of cleaning services, what entry do we have to make to our accounting equation? Well, we earned revenue, and that means we need to recognize that a service revenue of $450 has to be recorded. Students often then use cash as the other side of the entry. Is that correct? Well, we've not received any more money from our customer, so cash is not impacted, and you should leave it alone. Again, as we noted on the prepaid expense video, adjusting entries never involve cash. Instead, what we did is we provided three months of services, so we don't owe five months of services anymore, and we have to reduce the liability account by the amount that we have earned. We need to record a reduction in the liability account under unearned revenue of $450 because we don't owe the customer that anymore. You already know that most transactions are triggered by something, a paper trail, a bill, an invoice, but adjusting entries are internal entries. We talked about this in the prepaid expense video. There is no paper trail, nothing to tell us that we have to make an entry, except the fact that we provided a service to the customer. Instead, it's an entry made by the company to recognize that they earned something by providing a service, so the liability that was there before now moves to being a revenue. The entry is triggered by the fact that we have to report to external parties, and so we need to make sure that only those liabilities that are still owed remain on the balance sheet. All the unearned revenues that have been settled have to be moved to the revenue account, which is exactly what we did in this entry. Let's look at both entries together. Remember the first entry is a transactional entry because it's an exchange with a third party that includes a paper trail, like an invoice. It's an external transaction recording the receipt of cash from our customer and the fact that we owe the customer services in the future. The second entry is an adjusting entry because it adjusts the accounts before we publish the financial statements. It's an internal transaction because we adjust our records internally. There's no paper trail to tell us that we have to do this. Instead, we do it to recognize that we settled the liability by providing a service and therefore we earn revenue. What would show on the balance sheet? Well, only the balance at March 31st, which would be a current liability of $300. Remember that unearned revenue can be called other things, but the transactional and adjusting entries are exactly the same. The liability and revenue need to be adjusted at every reporting period end for what has been earned since the last time the company published their financial statements. Adjustments can be made either monthly, quarterly, or annually, depending on the company. That's it for unearned revenue right now. In our next video, we'll be focusing on accrued expense adjusting entries.